Hello, everyone. Ted Clayton here. Recently, I just started watching the channel, the YouTube channel, Heed and Succeed, the Black Bell channel, Heed and Succeed. I have never heard of, I'm just now getting into this whole Black Pill uh, community, even though, upon reflection, I've been living a Black Pill life for quite some time. And not so much of looking at things retroactively, yes, but it's more of, I've come to this consciousness for some time. So I guess now I'm just... seeing people that are actually expressing um, their views on it, you know, and just sharing their thoughts and observing, you know, just talking about it. And I'm sure, you know, just now, I'm like right now as I'm recording this, I'm sure if I look at some of my videos that I've done, um, there's probably one or two Black Pill related videos. I think actually there was, because I started reviewing my videos, you know, I've been doing videos now consistently for a year, a little more than that, in general, but consistently for years. And I started just reviewing because I said, okay, I got a little momentum. Let me just kind of um, just check everything out, just review all the content. Still in that process, but you know, just got through one layer. And I was like, oh, wait, that one video is kind of uh, black pill. I, I, I know one title uh, is Women Are Losing. It's sort of red pill-ish, uh, but it was more focused on modern feminism. I didn't title it that or I didn't give it that hashtag on that video because I didn't, you know, and I made a playlist, a black pill playlist. I didn't put it in that playlist because it's more modern feminism, but it's, I was already kind of, you know, uh, in that consciousness. Anyhow, so, you know, again, I'm just now seeing all this content on, on YouTube. So I just seen this guy's video. Uh, he seems like a great guy, a big guy, but um, and I, I, I still don't know the history. It looks like he just let himself go because he just um, resigned. And it's totally, a, if, if that's a conscious decision, not uh, being a victim versus being a victim, then, you know, uh, if they know the consequences um, and they're self-aware, and again, it's not being a victim, then, you know, that's their decision. And you got you to gotta respect it. Uh, I think looking at the cause is probably more important. Anyhow, all that to say, I'm watching his video, and it, I don't even remember the video it was, but it was one video where he said, as a matter of fact, let me take a quick look. I might be able to direct some people to see the exact video. Just bear with me one second, because it wasn't that long ago. It was maybe like two, three days ago. So let me just look. Okay, video, video. Okay, here's the videos. Uh, it it must have been one of these two videos. Why do people have to be so rude? Or being a man unloved by women, negative reinforcement from women. It, it, one of those two. Maybe the second one, one of those two. Anyhow, in the video, what he talks about is he says he shares an experience where women will give a... Um, in, innate, uh, they'll be the, the way they'll react to him in his presence is repulsed, disgusted. Their actual body will react to him. Um, I, I'm struggling to find that exact word for it, uh, or a better word, but I, I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's uh, voluntary or involuntary. Yes, that's the uh, word that I'm looking for involuntary reaction. So he says that they, what they'll do is they'll. In this example, he said that, in this situation, he said that he was, I don't know, wherever, and I don't know, mall or whatever, I don't remember. But this girl, she was wearing revealing clothing, but she turned her backside, she turned her butt so that he can't see it. So he's not in view of it, even though you know, the clothing is basically where everyone can see. You know, it's a 360 view, <laughs> if we want to really be technical. Uh, but however, as far as, you know, just face to face, uh, she turned herself, uh, turned her body re involuntarily. Reaction, uh, uh, her reaction was to turn her body so that uh, he, he couldn't see her backside. He couldn't see her butt. 
And I thought about this. And he says, stuff like this has happened to him before. And this is familiar. I'm pretty familiar with this. I've seen this where women will just have this, uh, again, involuntary reaction, just really um, knee-jerk reaction to me when just, just once they see me, um, once they're aware that I'm around. And it's not that they know me. It's just be complete strangers. I, a lot of what I get is this kind of look of, you know how when, when you know someone and you did something wrong to someone and they have this look of, um, they're kind of startled um, and, they, and they're trying to be cool, they're trying to be reserved, but you kind of can see through that kind of like a, like I'm going to act like I'm doing something, like a, like here's me on the computer. like I'm busy. I'm, this is me being busy. It's, I get something like that. Um, but I actually experienced the opposite from him. I actually experienced women and couples too. And I think someone else shared this where the couples think, but women specifically by themselves, where they'll actually present themselves to me. Uh, the last thing I could remember was, I'm thinking of two things uh, right now, but the last thing I could remember was I was on the seventh train. I was on my way to Flushing. And there was this, I think she was Spanish. The Spanish girl, she, and she was uh, pretty decent looking. Uh, not too revealing. And I don't know like five, six-ish, something like that. And she just, I was, uh, was I sitting down or was I standing up? I don't remember. I, I don't remember, but what, whatever was happening, she grabbed onto the pole right in front of me and her body was facing towards me. But, and, but there was so much space on the subway, on that subway car. Now, That car was not packed, but all the seats, were, they were occupied. However, not all the poles were occupied, and it was not a crowded car. Again, it was still, it's post-COVID, so no subway car is crowded. But um, there was enough room for her to move somewhere else. And I, I, I look around to see if anyone else is noticing this. And there's some people who, no, who notice, or they may not give me eye contact, but I, I think they're signaling to me that, yeah, that's kind of strange. Uh, what what is she doing? And I think people kind of get it. Where you know, society plays this this game. Again, we gotta respect the game, but you know, gotta call it out for what it is. They play this game where short men are X, Y, and Z. We we're subhuman. Uh, you know, all of the above. But then put themselves, at least to me, put themselves right in front of me to show off. I guess. So it's you know if it's if it's that then why not just leave me alone why why not just give me my space you see where I'm going with this um, and I'll keep look I, I'll tell you where I'm at right now and I I'm sure some people want to be careful but where I'm at right now is with certain situations you know I just kind of let it pass you know I look around see if anyone else is noticing I'm sure no one's gonna like if somebody uh, something went down. It, more, more than likely, I might be surprised, but more than likely, someone's not going to step up and, uh, uh, like, say that they witnessed whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? I'll speak up. But um, what was I going with this? I still look around, just at least for me, right? So I know that I'm not uh, going crazy, which I know I'm not. Uh, but it's I, I now I move. So I'll give you one example, and uh, I'll wrap this video up. As I just wanted to just share this quick point. I, I mean, I think you you guys you guys have to gist of what's going on. It's strange. Again, it's it's strange. It, it's it feels scripted. Feels. Now I really want to be careful with my words, but it definitely feels scripted, right? What time is it? Eleven twenty-five. Eleven twenty-five a.m. Perfect illustration. I was on the E train, I believe. This was maybe about a month ago. There was, I, I was sitting, because normally what I do, yes, it's from being a short man, just kind of being uh, 
cautious about, you know, it, there's a certain perception that short men have. So I like to be away from people. I like to kind of be secluded from everyone else, right? So normally what I'll do is I'll sit on the ends of the subway car where there's uh, two, where the, the two seaters are, just right before you get into the doors that connect the subway cars. So I'll sit there. This, she was white. This white girl sits right in front of me. She, she's in front of me. She had her legs cross, crossed. And you can see um, upper, upper skirt. You can see just up to her underwear. You can see all her, her thigh. Right, so you know she was wearing something pretty revealing, and uh, from my position, my vantage, I was able to see a lot. And again, it's one of those things where, well, if we're revered or with a certain perception uh, about short men, and then we're kind of being um, excluded from certain things, then you know, just give me my space. So, I see this, but then it's that, but then they know how they, you know, you know how you're dressing, you know, or anything, even just, even if, if that, just give me my space, right? And when I see this, I'm like, this is an insult. So, I look around, seeing if there's anywhere else available to sit in the car. And there is. Now, this, and this is important. I had my, I had my mask on. So what I do is, again, to be very respectful and to not cause a scene, because that's the whole thing. You don't, you don't want to disrupt and cause a scene, right? So I get up slowly, turn, and then start walking away and go have a seat elsewhere. Now, of course, what do you think is going to happen? Everyone's thinking, especially post-COVID, everyone's thinking, oh, that's just someone, because I do have my mask on. That's just someone who, and sometimes I have my mask on, sometimes I don't. Now, I'm in New York City, so I wear my mask on like this. Um, if I'm just like sweating or whatever, just or no one's around, I'll take it off. But you know, I'll keep it like this. Uh, so New York State, New York City, I'll I'll give you the address to send me a ticket, a fifty dollar ticket, fifty dollar fine. <laughs> but I have my mask on, so n- naturally, what people are thinking is, oh, this is a person who's a little paranoid, right, uh, or just overly sensitive, right. And wants to remove themselves because they don't want to get infected. But then they look at the girl, but she's wearing her mask too. And he was wearing a mask. Oh. You see? So, you know, just kind of putting the message out there to people, you know, like, hey, man, I'm not really, you know, I could be, I'm, I'm still going to be a gentleman. Like, that's. That's not going to change, but it's just a thing of I'm not going to I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to sit here and have someone uh, put on a show for me, you know, tease me basically, but uh, just reveal themselves to me like that in front of me, and I'm just going to take it. No, I, I, I don't. It's I haven't been invited, so I'm going to remove myself. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that. You know, again, no invitations, so I found another destination. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to share that. Um, not too much different from what he didn't succeed was sharing, but just my own account. And I ha- I've had had I I do get a lot of uh, situations where couples will be in front of me and get all lovey dovey and stuff in front of me. And it's the same thing. I'll, I'll, I'll move or whatever. Or, you know, sometimes I'll just 
be there and just kind of play it cool, look around. And, but I'll, I'll definitely look around. I don't, I don't play the game of uh, I, nothing's happening. I don't, I don't really do that. I'll be respectful because, again, not to stir things up, um, make a scene, but come on. And it's not, it's not even that. It's, you know, at, I, I'm at an age, and I still look. I'm still, I'm, 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 I'm still good looking. I'm that guy. Yeah, no, nah, I can't do that to myself. I can't do that. It, it, yeah, and then I gotta face the consequences for that. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. Just wanted to share my own accounts of this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, that's all. All right. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.